Okay, hey guys, welcome to another Max support video. My name is David Vasquez. Um, today I'm going to be telling you a simple little um, iPhoto tutorial. Uh, basically, what I'm going to tell you to do is how to use the advanced uh, slideshow functionality in iPhoto 09. So I'm basically going to show you how to make a slideshow, how you can make your own, and um, what you can do with them. Uh, put them on your iPod, show them on iMovie, pretty much whatever you want to do with them. So here we go. Uh, you want to select your event first. You're going to click the little plus button on the bottom. Select slideshow, and then you'll see Las Vegas slideshow in my case. Uh, this album is specifically from an album that I took pictures at from a recent Las Vegas trip that I just came back from about four weeks ago, um, which is pretty fun. So you can change the name right off the bat. I'm not going to change anything for now. Um, so you have a couple choices of themes, um, and I'll run each and th through each and every one of them for you. This is the Ken Burns version. <laughs> is scrapbook now I'm not really a big fan of scrapbook because the music is really annoying and it keeps looping over and over again because it's like a really short song so it gets annoying after a while so here it is <laughs> Scrapbook theme. Now on to my favorite one. This is the Shatter theme. This is my one of my favorite themes for the slideshow. So here it is. seven photos I in here I believe this is um, so next is sliding panels sliding panels is a nice theme nice and professional um, the music I don't like but I like changing around the music especially in this uh, slideshow so here's this one <laughs> theme and the last one is called snapshots this is a really nice theme uh, it looks like uh, photos going onto a table so here's this one <laughs> nice little credits like appearance so um let's select the one that you want uh, i'm gonna select the shatter theme one of my favorites and then you simply select export and then uh you have a couple options here you have mobile medium large or f just mainly for display it'll copy your display resolution in this section over here uh you can you can change that uh Let's say we want to put this on your iPhone or on your iPod Touch. It also works on your computer and also for mobile me. I would say the most compatible thing to do would be medium because it works with almost everything. You can also do a custom export to do like a custom uh, 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 resolution, pretty much anything. Uh, you can change whatever you want, iPod, MP4, iPhone, cellular, Apple TV, 3G, pretty much whatever. Then you select export here and... Uh, Let's select the mobile version, for example. Uh, I'm actually going to do something for medium. I'm going to do medium since it's the closest to the uh, YouTube 
mark. So, and I'm going to put this at the end of the video to show you a nice example. So here it is. And we're going to save it to our desktop. Delete this. Okay. So I'm going to pause the video for a minute. Okay, guys, um, I'm back. Now the file is finished, and here it is over here. If I open it up. And now you can do whatever you want with it. You can put it in iTunes. It automatically goes in iTunes. Um, so really, you're all set and ready to go if you want to put it on a CD, a DVD, um, pretty much anything. Um, so that's really it. At the end of the video, I'm going to put in the slideshow. That way you can see my trip to Las Vegas. I'll share that with you. And I'll show you the advanced techniques of iPhoto 09, basically showing you the slideshow transitions and whatnot. And um, this video will be edited with iMovie, so basically this is just going to be a whole thing on iLife, showing you all the features, all the functionality. So thanks a lot, guys. Once again, this is David Vasquez. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And once again, as always, this video was brought to you by I Show You HD by Shiny White Box. Thanks a lot, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe once again. And thanks again.